Hello everybody and welcome to another general vlog video and see if you just watched my last video you'll know that this video is following right after it and I didn't lie hey I'm still sitting in the same spot have not moved blah 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 and we're going to get into this next video now this video is going to be I've explained why I didn't do a lot of filming this summer and also at the same time I was working on a relationship now I'm going to spoiler alert the relationship did not work out, uh, which is a good thing. Don't say, oh, poor Rick. It's a good thing it didn't work out. Didn't know that until the end, but it's a very good thing that it didn't work out. So let's just jump right into that. Um, basically, I met this girl, and we started seeing each other. She pretty quickly started coming up and staying every weekend with me. It was just uh, like a Friday night and a Saturday night, but then she extended it to a Sunday night, sometimes even a Monday night. Um, it's just one of those things. So she was, let, let me start out by saying she was a, a great help on the work that I did throughout the summer. Uh, I will give her credit there. Our relationship seemed to be going great-ish. Uh, I mean, there, there was some red flags, of course. Um, one I'll just throw out there. I'm not going to go into all of them, but when she first met my neighbor that lives on that side of me, uh, before she even said hello or how are you or my name is blah, 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 she just jumped right in and told him, said, I'm the one that cooks better than him, so his kids like me better than him. I found that kind of uh, put off fish I'm not really sure how I found that I just I was embarrassed we'll just leave it at that and there was a lot of other things I you know I, I don't want to get too deep into my conversations or and the conversations would be between me and my head I guess um, I just wasn't attracted to her there was a lot of things that she did that was just for me and my family. And when I say my family, I'm talking basically my boys because they live here with me. Uh, a lot of things that she do, does, does or did or done, however you want to look at it, was just uncomfortable for us. Um, But other than that, she was a pretty decent person at that time. Fast forward to what happened to us. Rick, what the heck did you do to screw it up? Well, I didn't do anything. I just have one rule. I don't want a dog in my house right now. And she tried to bring a dog into my home permanently. Uh, well, every weekend that she was here, basically without asking, basically without asking me how I felt about it, basically without, and I just was honest with her and told her, I said, you know, you knew from the beginning, absolutely knew from the beginning I didn't want a dog in this house. Um, I don't want to deal with the dog messing on the floor, it was just a puppy, but she was going to have an excuse. I didn't want to have to deal with the dog hair all over the house, but she was going to have an excuse. She was just one of those type of people you couldn't talk to. I was not trying to be mean with her. Had if she come to me and said, hey, I want to get this dog and keep this dog, because at first she tried to tell me she got the dog to get rid of for some lady. I don't know what the story was. But if she would have told me, come to me and talk to me, it might have been a different story. might not have been, but it might have been. I don't know. And I know that sounds really horrible. You don't want a dog in a house, and, and that's just stupid. And it's my lifestyle. You know, we are never in the house. I don't want to have to deal with a dog. I don't want to have to walk through my dog, my yard and step in dog poop. I, I just, I'm, I'm not at that stage in my life to where I can adjust to a dog or train a dog. And I know, because it was going to be her dog, I wouldn't have done nothing, but uh, anyways. So that's what ended the relationship. Um, <clears throat> I did tell her, 
from the beginning that I didn't want a dog. She knew this. She even talked to my boys about them not needing a dog. Because she knew. This is something that we talked about probably every single weekend for six months all through the summer. But yet she brought one in. Well, she tried to. So I just told her, you are still welcome here. I don't want the dog here. I don't want a dog in my home. I don't care how stupid that rule sounds. It's my rule. It's my house. You don't live here. You are a guest. I am opening my door and giving you a place to stay on the weekends. Uh, 50 some years old, still lives with her mom. I mean, so she was looking for a place to get away on the weekends and I was generous enough to give her that, but yet she wasn't generous enough to follow rules. I hate to say rules, but that's it's something that we had talked about from the beginning. That's not even the worst part. We actually, I'm going to call it separated as friends. We were still texting. In fact, she come up uh, to get something. I, I don't remember what it was. And she spent almost all day here sitting out here in the garage talking to me. <clears throat> um, so we separated on good terms. I thought everything was fine until one of my daughters come here and she's like, hey dad, when are you going to tell me the truth about what happened between you and Mary? And I'm like, oh, did I not tell you? I, I knew I did, but I thought maybe she might have forgot. So I went through the story again and, and she started crying. She's like, well, that's not what Mary tells us. I'm like, oh, so I don't know what she's told them because they won't tell me. And this is also both my daughters. They won't tell me what she said. She won't tell me what she lied to them about. I don't know. All I know is she run her mouth and caused havoc between me and my two girls. Um, a jilted woman, you know, it, it, it's going to happen. I can't gripe and complain and say that she said this or she said that or whatever, whatever, whatever. And hey, the only reason I'm telling you this is I want to be 100% transparent and let you guys know kind of why I haven't been filming and stuff. You know, I was busy working and trying to build a relationship, and it just didn't work. The working part and the building part worked out great. The relationship, nah, not quite so much. Um, all I know is she ran her mouth a lot. Uh, I don't know about what. It's all made up. I promise you that. But my girls, they tend to believe another girl. You know, I and, and I even, after my other daughter left, I contacted Mary on the phone and texted her. And I said, you know, hey, what did, how, what, what did you tell Katie about us splitting up? And she's like, nothing. I said, well, you know, Katie says different. And I, I reiterated, I'm not sure that's the right word, that the reason that we did split up was over the dog. And she agreed. And I'm like, but you told them it was something different. She denies it. I don't know. Like I said, this is a woman that when I first met her, her son and daughter-in-law had kicked her out of, her own, out of their house. She was living with them. I don't know why, but apparently she has problems with other people. I don't know. I don't want to talk bad about her because I don't know what the situation is. All I know is she told me that her son and daughter-in-law kicked her out. Her daughter-in-law had problems with her. Well, I can kind of see why now. Um, you know, if, if you don't tell the truth and you make crap up, then people are going to find that out and they're going to be very upset. Um, like I said, I don't know what she's told my daughters. So all I know is she's caused a little bit of uh, stress in between of us. Um, in fact, well, I don't know if that was her fault or not. Um, my oldest daughter, Lori, you know, the one that lived behind me when I lived in the trailer, uh, she moved her and her boyfriend and the new baby 
moved to Florida. <clears throat> I think Mary might have had a little bit to do with that. I don't know. I'm assuming that, so I probably shouldn't do that. Uh, I do know that she made Katie very mad at me, running and telling her a bunch of lies. I think she somehow told Katie that I wasn't comfortable around her or something. That That's kind of just what I, I got from what little bit Katie was telling me. You know, but she would ask me, you know, you know, Dad, have I ever done anything to you? And I told her, no, you know, you haven't. And she's like, well, why do you not like being around me? And I'm like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. The pool, the, the yard games, the decks, the outdoor kitchen, the pool room, bathroom, that was all built because of her. You know, maybe not her, but between her and my other daughter and my two boys, that's what I'm doing all this for. And she, I tried to get her to, you know, go into it and tell more details on it. She wouldn't do it. Um, anyways, so like I said, it was a relationship, but I'm glad it's over. Hopefully I did contact her and told her, you know, don't, if you're going to talk to my kids, don't lie. Don't run your mouth. Don't even talk about me. I, they, they shouldn't know anything about me, you know, as far as a relationship goes. That's none of their business. Uh, I thought the relationship was going really good other than the dog. And a few little minor details, like I said, the way she introduced herself to my neighbors. Um, it, in the beginning, very foul-mouthed. Um, always told embarrassing things, talked about things that she shouldn't talk about. And, and then I hear, you know, afterwards... Uh, both my sons say, you know, yeah, she kind of told me this and she kind of told me that, which was dumb. You know, if you're going to make stuff up, make stuff up worth making up, I guess. I, I don't know. Um, so both of the boys had run-ins with her. They just didn't tell me. Uh, they just want dad happy, right? And dad wants dad happy. but And I was pretty much happy. The whole time, uh, I just didn't like the whole idea of bringing a dog in my house without even asking. And knowing from the absolute beginning, the first day, probably even before we met, we had talked about that. So, there it is. Just being 100% transparent with you. Not using that as an excuse why I didn't film, but that is one of the reasons. You know, it's not an excuse, it is the reason. I was busy building. I don't have time to get everything done that I wanted to get done this summer and film it and try to what little bit of editing I know how to do and work on a relationship. I didn't have time. And plus, I'm hanging out with my kids, you know, almost every weekend. You know, the girls were coming over swimming. The boys were swimming. Uh, we did uh, campfires. We did grill outs. We did uh, birthday parties. We did... Uh, I don't know, baby parties. I can't remember what they were called. Um, <laughs> before you have a baby, you have baby shower. We had baby shower parties. We had gender reveal parties. You know, we were always doing some kind of a family get together. And the girls need to remember that. And before they go off, half cocked listening to a girl that's just got a broken heart that has already has issues with families and family members and I think when she's seen the unity between me and my girls and my boys I think there was some jealousy involved because she doesn't have that so or I don't think she does I, I don't know I did meet one of her daughters a, a sweet girl um I know she had two other boys. I know she had problems with one. I don't, I didn't really pay that much of attention. And I know that's going to sound horrible because I should know everything. I did, but I didn't really, you know, if you've got a problem with a family member, that's between you and that family member. And everybody's probably going to be saying that about this. You know, Rick, don't air your dirty laundry. I'm not airing dirty laundry. I'm just telling you what happened because I'm 100% transparent with you guys, 
that way you know what happened. And just remember, just because what you've heard me say, uh, this is only one side of the story. You know, you'll never get her side of the story. So you can only take about half of what I said as truth, right? Ain't that the general census of it? You know, you're only hearing half the story. Um, my biggest issue with her, even not the dog, not, you know, uh, none of that. Don't go to my kids and make up lies and stuff to make yourself look better and make me look bad because you're jealous of my relationship between my, me and my kids. That's not going to float with me. Um, so anyways, there's all of that. That is why I've not done a lot of filming. And it's not just because of that, because I wouldn't have done it anyways. Even if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't have done it anyways because I've just been so busy. And without her help, I would have been even busier, right? So that's that. So now you know. I don't really want to make this video. I may not even leave this video up. I think if anything else, I hope that both my daughters watch this video and they understand that the people that they're taking advice from are not good people to take advice from. Stop back and look at our relationship and our past it has always been pretty well perfect. So before you start listening to somebody else's rumors, pay attention to your past and your past will guide you exactly where you need to be. Uh, and that's for everybody and that's for everything. Let's leave this on a better note than this. Um, at least I did try. You never know until you try. You can either try and succeed or try and fail. I tried and fail. I might succeed the next time. You never know. But let's leave this on a better note. What kind of a good note can we leave this on? I would like to tell you, oh, I'm going to start a series of videos again, and it's still going to be a little while, probably after Christmas. Um, I still have a big rush to get through before it freezes. I'm going to be swamped. I'm absolutely going to be swamped. I do have some fun projects coming into the garage this this winter. Uh, we got both of our heaters. There's one. It's not even on right now. Where's that right there? I do have two heaters. Got one there, one there. Way more than I need in here. Um, I think this back here needs a little bit of transmission work. It just needs the pan dropped, the fluid changed, and all that good stuff. Uh, and one leak fixed, and it's ready. Uh, behind you, we have a four-wheeler. I'm not really sure what's the issue with it yet, but we'll be figuring that out. Um, I do have some work to do on the pontoon boat. It's not even out of the water yet. Uh, that's another thing I have to rush and do. Uh, I want to get a new stereo, which I have up there. Uh, I want to get it on there. I want to make a cooler up underneath one of the seats. That's about it. That probably won't be until next summer. Uh, I got two jet skis back there that need to come in and get completely gone through. New batteries. I want to put new seat covers on them. Uh, so got that project this winter. Let's see what else is back there. Oh, I got the project car, um, which is probably not going to make any sense to anybody other than me, but we've got that going on. I know there's a, ton oh, we got a car trailer that needs to be brought in, four new tires put on it. Uh, got to do some grinding and some welding on it, just making custom tie downs, kind of customizing it to our needs. And then a couple good coats of paint put on it. We have a truck we need to get in and get it ready to sell. We have a Jeep we need to get in and get it detailed up and get it ready to sell. Um, oh, we still have Colton's truck to work on. We got some more welding to do on it. Um, we've got a couple go karts to be brought in to be done. We've got a golf cart that I want to bring in. I painted it and tried this kind of cool paint job on it and I didn't like it. So we're going to repaint it. Um, 
We got a couple of motorcycles that I want to tinker with a little bit. Uh, we got all kinds of projects this winter. Now, I don't know if you're here for that or not, but we will have some building stuff too. We have a whole nother room that we're building, uh, approximately 10 by 10. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? It's hard to tell. I might get into some on the pool room. Um, oh, my bedroom. I'm going to remodel my bedroom. I got to move a door. And, oh boy, I got a lot to do in there. I actually have to take an outside door out, patch it in, texture it, make it look like it was never there, take a window out, put the door where the window was, then I gotta put a new door in for this room, and then, oh goodness, I, I so yeah. Um, <laughs> there, there's gonna be some garage projects on here, and there's definitely gonna be some building projects on here. Um, some things to look for upcoming on the channel will be probably a new channel name, probably a new format of how I video, uh, where there'll be less of this talking and more of the working, and I'm gonna learn how to edit better and make more quality videos, so you can stay with us while we grow through that. Um, the shed to house. I, everybody asked me about that. So right now on my agenda for the shed to house is as soon as weather breaks next year, I'm going to underskirt it uh, with regular mobile home underskirting. I already have it. Uh, it's going to look really, really, really clean and really nice. And then eventually, I don't know when, but eventually I'm going to make that into a 100% off-grid home. Uh, well, everything will be off-grid except for sewage. Sewage will go into, connect into our regular sewage, but I will explain to you in depth how to do it without that. If you were out in the middle of the woods and you didn't have the option to tie into sewage, I will explain to you how to do that. But we will be tied into sewage. <clears throat> I could use our old sewage tanks here. I don't want to get into that. Um, we're just going, uh, so it will have a water catchment system. It will have solar. Uh, it will be a three bedroom livable tiny home. It'll be one bedroom and a loft. Um, it's small people go back and watch my videos you'll see what it is eventually we're going to get back into that uh and then there's a surprise why we're doing it uh it's not what you might think there's a, a pretty cool surprise um and just the the unity of family and maybe start doing some uh family function get together videos uh might do some more hunting and fishing videos, might do some more off-grid videos, what we might do some more uh, homestead style videos, and yes, we're going to get animals. Uh, just not ready for that right now, just kind of like not wanting a dog in the, the house. I'm just not to that point yet. I want to be able to devote 100% of my focus onto the animals so they're safe and have a good life. Uh, the animals that I will be getting will be outdoor animals and they may not be what you think. Just have to wait and find out. Anyways, with all that being said, I hope you guys have a great day and even better tomorrow and an awesome night. And please, please, please be safe. And remember to follow us on the next video. Have a great day.